dropped off, sir. Generally low? Uh, no, sir, he's dropped off. Stand by one, please. I'll reconnect you. Hello, sir? Yeah? He's dropping off. Go ahead, sir. Hello? Uh, I'll get you. General Wheeler? General Wheeler? Uh, one moment, sir. We're getting the president at the ranch. One moment, sir. Thank you. Really? Hold on, please. Just a moment, sir. Go ahead, please. Hello? Mr. President? Hello. General Wheeler, go ahead, please. Mr. President? Yes, sir. This is General Wheeler. Yes, sir. Uh, you recall, sir, that I had an engagement to see General Eisenhower this morning. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I had a talk with him, and we discussed the problem in terms of being a military problem and a security problem. He said the following things to me. He said the greatest effect of this, he felt, of a disclosure, an acknowledgement, would be on the communist countries, particularly the Soviets, and on the non-aligned countries. He could see that an acknowledgement would... Uh, might start a hard line from the Soviets, and certainly they would seize upon it for a propaganda base. He also foresaw a serious effect on our allies. He considers that outside of the press, there is not very much public interest in this question. He said that of the courses available, that is of acknowledgement, denial, or else a finessing, that we should not acknowledge it, that uh, there would still be continuing pressures for further disclosure of detail. He said that to deny it flatly uh, might be counterproductive because so much has already been saw said about it. He does feel that we should just refuse to talk about it. Now, he said that Perhaps one statement should be made that the use of forces and weapons is a matter for the president to decide at the time in the light of the situation, and that uh, you will have nothing further to say about this matter. Uh, when I talked to Mr. McNamara on this, he made reference to your Seattle speech and said that <clears throat> that might be, be it, the statement or perhaps one additional statement, depending on what developed over the weekend. Now, General Eisenhower has followed and intends to follow the line that I mentioned above, namely that this is a matter for the president to, to decide at the time. Uh, he asked me to inform you uh, personally of this, and he also asked that that there be no disclosure that my discussion with him took place or that this advice was given. I think it's good, and I agree with it, and I, let's just wait till the early part of the week and see what happens, and you keep your eye on it, and uh, we'll talk about it Monday. Very well, sir. I think that's a good job, though. I think you handled it exactly right, and I think you've uh, organized it very well, and I understand exactly what happened. And, that's that's a that's a good job. I wish you could do something out there with Taylor and Con to uh, uh, for us to have some kind of uh, action of some kind, some offensive or something. Looks like that's deteriorating pretty fast to me. Mr. President, it, it looks real bad, and you probably heard that there are further cool rumors out there today. Yes, I saw that. I saw. Very disturbing. Is, is there nothing we can do? Well, I, the only thing. I, we are in touch with uh, General Westmoreland, and I know that General Taylor is on top of this, and they're just keeping a hard eye on it. Also, a message did go out uh, from State Defense Aid CIA to the ambassador asking what further things might be done in country to, to uh, settle the, the situation down a bit. And uh, that's about the way it looks to me right now, so we've got to depend on our people in the field. Okay, all right. Thank you. I'll talk to you again Monday then. Sir. Thank you. Very well, sir.